But first, last week at NYU, rioters shut down a planned speech by Vice co-founder Gavin McGinnis. Now, one student there is saying the speech's organizers ought to be punished for this provocation. In a piece written for Washington Square News, that's NYU's student newspaper, grad student Kouros Esmaili says the college Republicans ought to be kicked off campus for inviting McGinnis to speak there. McGinnis's beliefs, he says, quote, are beyond our sense of democratic values and debate and therefore ought to be suppressed. Kouros Esmaili joins us tonight from New York. Mr. Esmaili, thanks all for coming on. Uh, thank you, Tucker, for having me. So I, because this is kind of the, the crux of your argument, I want you to be a little more specific for us, if you could. You said that McGinnis's point of view is, and I'm quote, beyond our sense of democratic values. What democratic values specifically are you referring to? Um, first of all, Tucker, I want to thank you very much for having me on. Um, I, the reason why I really, the reason I accepted to come on here is because my, uh, what I wrote was actually altered and suppressed by the student paper and I wrote them and they never wrote me back but it really uh, gave me a sense that I really need to have uh, somewhere to where I can actually say what I believe rather than well, good. an, well, an tell, editorial tell that actually think. decides to tell me, uh, change my words. So I really appreciate the fact that you have me on and, and you're allowing me to sort of say, um, say it from my perspective. We always do. Um, and I, really, I, was, I did some research on you today and I really understand that you are, uh, you're, you're, you're a free speech fundamentalist. You believe free speech should be uh, open and, and it should not be curbed in, at any point. Am I right well, I'm an, uh, I'm an American, uh, but I'm, I'm trying to get to the core of your argument. Which well, no, is see, my argument was suppressed, so I want to sort of like be okay. able to sort of well, say. Well, tell it. us, okay, then let, let's just make this really simple for our viewers right. who don't know the backstory here. Your op ed that you wrote for this paper appears mm -hmm. to suggest the Republicans at NYU should be sanctioned in some way for daring to have Gavin McGinnis on campus, and your justification for that is that his views are so beyond the pale, beyond, as you put it, our democratic values that we shouldn't be allowed to hear them. See, Tucker, what, what, I, what I really don't want you to do is do what the student paper at NYU did, which is okay. put words in my mouth and change let's, my words. Let's, and let's, 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 let's let me tell, sort of tell my own story. Think. Is Please. that okay? Yes, so, with haste. So what I'm trying to, well, what I, one of the sentences that was, that was actually taken out, which made me very angry, was the question. Does the university, is it obliged to protect the speech of someone who comes on campus and advocates and recruits for Al-Qaeda? Okay. What do you think about that? I, I don't know that that is, is at question here. We're talking it's, about Gavin McGinnis. It's exactly McGinnis. the question that I want to raise, which was okay. suppressed. So okay. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm bringing that question. Another question that was altered is the question, should the university protect someone who comes on campus and advocates vigilante violence against police officers who've killed civilians and have right. not been indicted? Is that, that, that protected? Should that be protected on campus? That was, I mean, look. No, let, no, no. Let me, and again, that was suppressed on, you look, know, by, by those editors. I just, and I, I want, want a place where I can okay. sort of have this conversation. Okay. What do then, you think about this? Then, Should let, someone who okay. actually advocates killing police officers be allowed to debate on a campus? Or to, okay. to no, not even debate, to sort of come on and say if what they believe on campus. If you're asking me a question, then let me answer okay, it. Okay, tell me. This is not a question know. for college administrators to decide. It's been decided by the Supreme Court in a case called Brandon versus Ohio, 1969, the last big free speech case. And the upshot of it is that advocating violence is indeed protected speech. And of course, politicians do it all the time. We ought to bomb this country or bomb that country. Advocating violence, that's protected by the First Amendment. What is not protected is inciting violence, imminent violence, destruction or mayhem. I cannot say, go smash the windows of that liquor store. So here's my point. Anything Gavin McGinnis conceivably said or would have said on your campus is protected speech. Now, if you'd taken 10 minutes to Google this, you'd know that. And so there's really not a close call here. What he's doing is protected by the First Amendment to the Constitution. So for you to say that people should be sanctioned, do you think people should recruit for Al Qaeda on a college campus? Should re well, of course, I'm completely against Al Qaeda. Okay. Do you think they should be protected that. by administrators on a campus? I think people ought to be able to express their political views, no matter how repugnant to you or me or anyone else, as long mm -hmm. as they, in accordance with the Supreme Court decision from 1969, are not inciting imminent violence. I believe I've, I'm understanding that correctly, and I think that you should. I think the college administration should understand that. No, I do, I do believe that. I absolutely, okay. I absolutely so do believe that. But I also are... believe, I also believe that there are arguments, there are points to be made that are beyond the pale of responsible dialogue. Okay. Right? So, but and I your... think someone coming and saying we well, should... Well, name one. I just did two. The both of which were, 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 were suppressed, they were not, and were not allowed to be discussed okay. in that newspaper, but and, then, and, and, and which you have not really answered my question either. Uh -huh. my, stand is, my stand is this, okay, that, that there are, we do not live in a society in which any speech should or is guaranteed. 
okay? So, and I also believe, I was, I was sitting on a subway on the way here, right? And I was sitting on a subway in New York City, and I invite all your, uh, your listeners to come to and sit in a subway station in New York City, where you sit with a cross-section of humanity that is amazing. And I was wondering, and I, you, you, you know what quote came to my mind? Right? We believe, right, that all men are created equal. This is a founding okay. You're starting notion. to lose me. You're starting to lose okay, me so here, Mr. Osmond. Let me get so to it. We believe okay, that yeah, all men are created it. equal. When someone likens people of color to monkeys, that resonates for some people to be beyond the pale of acceptable American values, right? Because okay. if we, our country is based on the idea that we're all equal, then you cannot, right, have an argument about whether some people are below human. That, that, that uh, to well, me, is not something th uh, that there is belong uh, you, in a debate on a campus. You, you don't so like it, and I don't either, and I think that's, you know, an awful mm -hmm. sentiment, and I would never defend it. And yet both of us are bound as Americans to defend the right of people to express views that we disagree with, even if we consider them repugnant or wrong. Okay. If they are short of inciting imminent violence, we have to say, I disagree with you, here's the counter case, here's why you're wrong, here's why you shouldn't say things like that. But we cannot prevent people from expressing what they believe. That is the essence of our democratic values, the ones mm -hmm. you appealed to. And you don't seem to understand that. So you would stand up, you would stand up for someone who actually wants to recruit for an organization that has said they want to hurt the United States. You would stand up for the right of that person to speak on a college campus. College campuses are not American society. College campuses are specific places oh. where people are debating and talking to each other. Oh, right? they're debating, and, except when they disagree with you, no, well, in which case you write no, them out of the protection no, by no, saying no, they're no. somehow so, beyond the pale. No, no. Now, I'm asking you clearly, what about Gavin McGinnis's positions is so far outside the mainstream that it doesn't fall under Calling the First Amendment? Calling an African American a monkey, that's pre that should be on the outside of, of a sane debate. Okay. All right. I'm not and when, saying and the that point that is that if someone like that, the so you're saying, and, and the point that I made on in the editorial is the Republican students need to bring conservative ideas onto campus. We need to know why um, uh, there should be the de deregulation of Wall Street. We need to have a discussion about why there should be deregulation of, of, of environmental well, regulation. Are you conservative? What, what, no, why is it up to you no, to no, decide I believe what conservative in discussion. ideas are? I believe in real discussion. I but only we, within but your the Republican terms. students, instead of bringing that question on campus, they bring someone outside of the pale of any rational discussion who really? ad, who ad, advocate who calls so I wonder, I'm gonna, I'm gonna who calls irony. an African American a monkey. Okay, that's first, first what the you, Republican you students bring on campus. That? Hold on, wait, stop. I, I don't want to get into a defense of a specific writer's writings, but I would actually challenge you to cite chapter and verse on that. I don't believe he actually said that. If he did, obviously I find there's that a repugnant. Link. There's a link. But here, oh, but there's yeah, the, the, I put, but, I put but, the link where I got the, that information. The I put, the there is a link. That, I mean, listen, you're asking me for chapter and verse is a link to him speaking where he, where he likens an actress, a okay. black American actress, to a monkey. And, and well, there's you literally know what? There's no chance people, I would defend something the, like that. But the point is, I would defend the right of anybody to say something I disagree with, and you ought to too, and especially as a college student, and I think you're still a college student. I'm a graduate should, student, and I actually You're teach. a graduate student, you teach, then you're in a world that was created specifically to protect people who have non-mainstream opinions. But that, but that space does not protect everybody. Let's be clear oh, well, about apparently that. Apparently it doesn't. It doesn't protect people you disagree doesn't with. Doesn't protect people and who, who advocate killing is, cops? Do you think that will go well? If someone wanted to go and speak on a college campus, For sure. a, a that tour happens. that said that, that, that talk the time. <laughs> you know, really? So, I really want to so know. Hilarious. I really, I really want to know where there's anybody. <laughs> Have who, you who, been to a Black Lives Matter protest? Absolutely I mean, not. I support okay. Black Lives Matter. I would never okay. support Black Lives Matter uh -huh. if they advocated killing a police officer. Really? And they do I not. Wish, I wish that we is had a distortion. The We've only played it like five That is a distortion. Okay, but, Okay, but right? look, so here, that doesn't have the point being that your la la land of, of, of college campuses <laughs> being open to everybody student. to say whatever they want doesn't okay. exist because, it's, right. because we have a criteria, right? Look. We believe for 200 years that all men are created equal. Well, may people, I ask you let, let me finish this thought. Yeah. The, okay? People who come out and say, no, some people aren't equal, women are inferior when it comes to this, blacks are inferior when it comes to that, Muslims are inferior because people who say that, they go uh -huh. against the grain of a lot of people who get so very they angry at that. Be right? Yeah, people get angry. That's right. 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 And maybe they and should that, get angry, and but that that's inflames, not the measure. And that, that inflames, that, that takes us outside of a rational discussion. Okay, right? so when people so Republican dis students, if they want to have a rational discussion on campus, let, let me ask they, should you have, to they should have a yourself? talk about something th that okay. matters. Okay. Right? Can, not if, bring if I, some, some wait, Yahoo. Wait, stop, Mr. Ismail. Can I ask you one last question? We're almost out of time. If I want to know what the new rules are 
as created by you, the graduate student, what are the rules for, as you said, rational conversation? I don't, create rules. I don't pretend to create so rules. Where can I go on the internet to find out what speech is protected and what speech isn't protected, according to you and your friends at NYU? Is there is there a, a, a website? We don't that tells make me? rules. I don't, I don't pretend to oh, make rules. Oh, because you keep I'm not, I, I don't want to be in a position of being administrator well, of a college. I think it's a very difficult I, job. That's not, that's not what, what I want to do. Okay, but, but how do I, college how do I know what the rules administrators, are? right, are responsible right. for the safety of their students on campus. Right? And when someone comes and advocates, ad, uh -huh. advocates for, for right. the idea, the racist so, ideas, right, it can hurt people. Right? Okay. And, so, I, and so the example example that I used in my op-ed that, right. uh, that, that, you, that, that you bring up okay. is two weeks ago, some guy uh -huh. walks into a mosque, kills six people, right? Right. after he in heard, Canada. And, and this is documented, after he heard the speech of a far-right politician. Oh. Right? Uh -huh. So words actually have effect. Right? So, so if, I were to, if I were to go to a rally and people said, I'm just pulling this out of thin air, pigs in a blanket fry like bacon about police officers advocating the killing of cops. I mean, you would say that's unacceptable. That should not be allowed. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying if student group wants to have a discussion about police brutality no, no. or, or racism. Use, stop, stop. If they were to use that phrase, if they were to use that phrase, pigs in a blanket fry like I'm bacon. I'm not interested in the phrase. I'm not going to de debate you over this oh, phrase should be allowed or not. Because you have no principles. That's why. Because all the things you've been saying for the last I've 11 been very minutes are totally you. untrue. And I've came totally here because untrue. I expected, I thought I would yeah, get the same respect from you. You just who you are. Well, okay. I mean, Thanks I'm a lot serious. for joining us. I, no, you shut it down. Wow.